Hey, get your damn hands off me! All the, yeah, sparing you. the who, people y'all, who's y'all? The, the people who don't care. Well, I think you're getting upset because you're losing the debate, but that's fair. That's fair. Hey everyone, welcome back to Raw Media, where we bring you all the real and woke. For today's video, we're going to be seeing some moments where Steven Crowder actually loses a debate. Ooh. We kick things off where he was doing one of his Change My Mind debates and a college student stopped up to take Crowder on. It's fair to say that this college student was a more than worthy opponent for Crowder. As you're about to see, this student was extremely calm while debating Steven Crowder. He even rattled Crowder at times. He was definitely more than ready for it. Crowder found himself struggling a little during this debate. Tries by an over... <laughs> emphasis on logic and philosophy as opposed to reality. You know, it's very easy to argue from syllogisms and axioms and all that. So and hold on a second, I want to make sure. Before you move, because yeah. what you do is you, you speak in these paragraphs. We need to determine yeah. what these definitions are. I think we both agree that's fair. Fine. Okay. So you just said that autism, if I'm not mistaken, and I would love for you to bring this up, is rooted more in philosophy and theology than fact. L L the student got Crowder so well that he couldn't even deny it or defend himself. Crowder admitted defeat with the good point that the student gave, but things were far from over. Crowder still wanted to buy back at the student, but he wasn't holding back one bit. The college student called Crowder a shill, and when you see Crowder's reaction, you could really tell that he was taken by surprise. Crowder then asked him to define the word shill. His reply sparked a huge reaction from the crowd. He even threatened to get someone else on, but then the student said that Crowder was just getting upset because he was losing the argument. The college student really got him. Just check it out for yourself. If you're, if you're you gotta, I, I know you like to sound really intelligent by speaking in paragraphs. One thing, you've misused words several times. And if someone were to call you on it and be as rude as you are, you might look what you might refer to as stupid. Okay. So saying autistic or shill. Define, because it's a very specific definition. You came in and just said shill. Yeah. And I'm really quickly to give him, get ready to give the microphone to someone else if you don't stop doing this, because this isn't the goal of this. What's a shill? Well, I think you're getting upset because you're losing the debate. But... <laughs> We now have another clip of Steven who was debating someone who seemed to be protesting. They had a debate. As time went on, things got quite heated between the two. Crowder seemed to be trying to provoke him, but this guy was having absolutely none of it. Take a look. Nice thing. Uh, but I, this is the reason we're here. We have the sign. I, I, you know, listen, yeah. I don't buy it that Donald Trump's a racist. Why? So you were yelling earlier, why, pretty upset. Why? Because he, he might not get he might not get elected if people well, believe he's a racist. That's why you don't no, like it. No, that's not why. I don't believe that he's a racist. It, so again, it, it if feels you sit uncomfortable, down, you know, to feel like you're a racist because you support Donald Trump. If you if you sit down, is that why? If you sit down. The onus is on you to change my mind. That's the whole idea. Uh, so yeah, you rationalize I, part your Part of it, yeah. part of changing your mind is 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 revealing your motives. As well, no, why, you don't know my motives. Why you don't want to see Trump as a racist? You, you have motives, and yeah, you do. You definitely have motives. You want to get Trump elected, right? You're a Trump supporter. You want to see him get elected. You don't want people to think he's a racist, and because if they think Trump's a racist and you're a, you're a Trump supporter, they're gonna see you as a racist and you, you don't like how that feels so you're motivated to convince people trump's not a racist whether he's a racist or not you couldn't give a crap but you want to convince everyone he's not a racist not only was the protester getting pretty angry but even crowder got angry as well but you guys have not seen anything yet because the heat turned up even more things got so crazy that crowder needed to take a seat and the debate continued from there and this was the point where things really escalated we're below you and your responsibility to yeah, save life from extinction <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna stand right here. Hey, keep your hands off me, little Leave. boy. Keep Leave. your Leave. Hands off. Uh, what is this? Off. Hey, Bruce. keep your damn hands Bruce. off me. What is this? Bruce. What is this? Bruce. Hey. Crowder got so angry at this guy that he decided to lift this guy's chair up and kick him out of the debate. Crowder even got his security involved and they started pushing the guy around. Who knew debates could actually get this heated? Who knows, did Crowder even want him out because he was losing? Let us know what you think. Next up, Stephen wanted to have a debate with Ethan Klein of the H3 podcast about what should be done in regards to the CDC and the pandemic. Klein isn't much of an expert in the field, so he decided that he should get someone who is, which is Sam Cedar. Turns out, Crowder is a little scared of Cedar because the two have been set to debate at events in the past, but Crowder has ended up dropping out, and well, Crowder shielded away from debating him once again. That, I was, that I'm wrong on that. Oh, geez. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. I t what did I tell you? He was going to do anything he could to avoid. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, no, Sam Cedar. What a, whoa, no. what a fucking nightmare. You, I had no idea this was going to happen. I thought, I thought Ethan was a stand-up guy. 
This is oh, where we wow. are. Yeah, I told Dave, Dave, remember I told you? I told you. I said, this is, I guarantee you, he's going to do anything he can to avoid the debate. Well, I just think he believes that he should debate you. No, no, he doesn't. He just takes advantage of, of women with, you know, mental health Steven, issues. He's inclined you know to stand up and do to his own fighting. I say, right. I Let's producers bring on FM. You would uh, do anything to avoid talking to me. I think you're, the point that you made. Yes, that's right. Joe this Rogan. Yeah, Joe Rogan and, and Ben Shapiro and, and Dave ben Rubin Shapiro. and Jordan Peterson and Noam Chomsky. Crowder just kept shouting and shutting off Cedar as soon as Cedar tried to get started with the debate. Something tells me that Crowder knows very well that he was losing this debate to Cedar, so he tried to avoid it at all costs. Lastly, we have Crowder who was in public and came across someone who was doing a painting on a wall in tribute to someone who sadly lost their life to the police. Crowder was quizzing him on it and eventually their conversation turned into a debate about the state of the country and other similar issues. To Crowder's surprise, the guy was really bringing up some pretty good points against him throughout the whole thing. Like, the two, like uh, for about. example, George Floyd, terrible, the man has been charged with third degree murder, right? Right. That's a good thing. You said he got what? No, that's not good. He's been it's charged with third degree murder. It's not good because it happened. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's as close to- it, Wow, this is, <laughs> this is amazing. Just like- debating the shit out of him. This is even, like, it's not even a change my mind segment, but Crowder is just. As you can tell, the guy was pretty passionate and he really presented some very good points. What he said was indeed logical as well. There really wasn't too much that Crowder could argue with, so Crowder seemed to be trying to provoke him or trigger him with this line of questioning. He then asked another question and once again, the painter had a pretty good answer for it as well. Crowder tried and tried multiple times to one up the painter, but the painter just kept on debunking him and killing his arguments. Eventually, things reached a point where Crowder was trying to stop him from painting on the wall, and it seems like this was his reaction to losing an argument with this guy. He was definitely not happy. Clearly, Crowder doesn't like losing. Do you think that breaking uh, windows and the looting gets the message out, or do you think it hurts the message? Uh, all of it is the message. Everything, all of it is a part of the message, whether it's looting, whether it's painting on buildings. Whether it's oh, this is good. Whether it's this is good. Oh, thank you for sending me this. This is awesome. Just, just like getting served. I love it. Wearing certain shoes. All of it is a message, and it all needs to get out. It all needs to well, get out. Well, let me say, I think this is. I, I don't know the story exactly. I think this is beautiful. Everybody I think this, can't draw. Bro. I think this. Well, that's. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and much more. Goodbye for now, everyone. We'll see you next time.